All right, guys, welcome back to another video where we'll be moving an aquarium moderately safely. So as you can see, this is the 20 gallon high aquascape that I've got. And let's hope it still looks like this once we've moved it. All right, so as many of you know, this is my little basement slash man cave in the new house. I'm still saying new, even though we've been here since February, but this stuff takes time. Anyway, the 20 gallon that you can see toward the right of the shot right now, I'm basically wanting to move it. I'm moving it to the stand on the left, which is actually a TV cabinet, but I just think it's gonna be a little bit more sturdier. So the first thing you wanna do is check that it's level. Obviously, we've done that with a four foot level on the TV stand. And basically we're going to take you through the whole process of moving this aquarium and going over what you have to do to move it moderately safely as there's always a little bit of risk so first things first we're going to drain some of the tank and that's why we've got the two buckets So tank's drained to the part where I basically want it to be drained. We've got two five gallon buckets here and we're just gonna move these off to the side. Basically this is just gonna help the fish not feel as stressed because you're not doing a huge water change and I'll just add that water back into the tank and do a water change on the rest of the 10 gallons. During this process, if you have got a python hose, I've been using this in the fish room since February, really, really working good. This will just help you get the remaining bit of water that you need to get out of the aquarium out if not you could also use a siphon it's just a little bit easier for me to use this then it goes straight down the sink if i were moving this aquarium a little bit further than just literally a foot away i would also take out all the fish and the shrimp and the autosynclus um however during this little process i'm not going to need to do it and i'll just drain the water level to a point where I feel it's comfortable for the fish and the shrimp and the threadfin rainbow fish to just chill out while I move it that two foot. All right, so I've probably got another four or five gallons out of that there with the python hose. As you can see, the tank is looking lush. All the rotala growth at the back is really, really thick. But now the moment of truth, I think it's decent to move. And as you can see, I definitely want to take it off this stand. It's just made of that cheap wood, and to be honest, I just don't feel comfortable with it. Obviously, it's done its job, but in terms of how stable it is, sometimes when I'm working on the tank, it's rocking and stuff like that, and I know that this thing won't. So let's get to moving the tank. So as you can see, that was pretty simple. The last thing that we're gonna do before we position the tank to its final resting place is just make sure that the tank is level. Again, with a four foot level, just with the length of it, make sure that it is better than using a one foot level and you know you might have some give in the tank. After that, we just added the buckets of water, the 10 gallons that we took out. Obviously, I didn't feel the need to video that. And then we are adding the rest of the water from our faucet, meaning that I need to dechlorinate. So I dechlorinate with the Fritz ACCR for 20 gallons, which is the tank volume. And then we fill this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. 
So tank's all done. If you are in the market for any water conditioner, I would strongly advise the Fritz ACCR. It's been working brilliantly for me for the last year now. If any of you have got any worries about the tank stand, I put some shims of wood in the middle there just to help support it. My CO2 tank fit right underneath there. And now it's time to get the filter going. And I'll give you a look at the tank.
Thank you.